one of the best finishes to a high school football playoff game that I've ever been to. Probably the best that I've ever been to. One of the best I've ever even heard about. It took place in Louisville, Kentucky between Mail and Ballard. Winner goes to the 6A state title game. Ballard trying to get there for the first time since 1984 and they're going to get a little help here from number seven, Maurice Stevens, who catches the touchdown pass. What a great catch uh, to give Ballard the lead at 20 to 17. It would remain that way late in the fourth quarter. Mail looking for a game winning drive and they're going to lean on number seven, Daniel Sweeney, quite a bit. Eight carries on this drive. And then his, the final one here was a third down. Now it's fourth and two from the two. And he, he's already saying, like, let's go. Let's do it. So this is where things get interesting. Ballard jumps offside. So that makes it half the distance to the goal. But not an automatic first down. So what you don't see here is the referee will tell them to change the down marker to one. They, and the referees actually have a discussion. It looked like about, yeah, it's first down now. So Mail, they look over, they see that the down marker, they're looking over for the play call, but I'm sure they see the down marker says one. And here the quarterback will take it himself, reaches over. Did he break the plane? Hard to see there. His teammate actually falls on it. Now he's in the end zone, but the ball didn't cross the plane. So they're going to call him down. Ballard football, less than 30 seconds to play. Game over. And Mail... The male players arguing, hey, wait, did, it should be second down. And the referees get together and they say, no, I, that was actually fourth down. Sorry that the, yard, the, the, the marker was wrong. That was fourth down. And there's still the pointing saying, hey, I thought it should, we should have the ball. We should have another, we should at least have one more go with this. Male players knowing that the season is over. And see, there's the down mark. It's not his fault. It's not his fault, by the way. The referee told him to change it to one. It was on one. So now the male coach has seen the replay, and he can relay what he saw to the official. This is what he says. He's got it in his hand across the line. You just lost us the game. That's a terrible call. Male head coach Chris Wolf cannot believe the call, but now all Ballard has to do is take a knee, and the game is over. But they do have to take the snap in their own end zone, and that will make things rather interesting. You think maybe just take the safety, take the two-point lead. You're up 20 to 17. And I'll just let the audience tell the story. A fumble, scoop, and score. And look, Chris Wolf, he, that's him running down the sideline. Incredible stuff. 21 seconds left to play. After Ballard for sure thought they were on their way to their first state title game since 1984. Pandemonium on the male Bulldog sideline. As they, uh, they'll kick the extra point, they'll take a 24 to 20 lead. Uh, pretty much the game. 21 seconds left, not a whole lot you can do. And uh, you really feel bad for those kids too. They're gonna remember that play for the rest of their life. And here's from Daniel Hager, another view of the scoop and score. Game winning touchdown. Unbelievable. Like, yeah, that their reaction right there, that I think that tells the whole story. Very unlikely. But the Bulldogs advance again to the 6A state title game where they'll take on Bullet East after they want to shoot out over Bryan Station 55 to 41. And as for Ballard, it's the end of a really good season. I think they went uh, they went 11 and two on the year. Uh, ended a lot of losing streaks, but it did end in heartbreak, unfortunately, for the Bruins.